So go to the GitHub and you want to go to this releases. Now there's nothing here in this recording, but it's going to be there. It's going to be a zip. Just extract it and then go to the folder that you extract. You're going to see a bunch of these files. Don't worry about those. Just run this batch file. If you don't know what it does, you can just right click on it, edit. And it's going to ask for admin permissions because it's going to be modifying files to give you shaders, but it doesn't do anything bad. So you could go through this yourself if you want. You just want to run this. It's going to ask for admin, click yes. And you're going to see this. So there's Nvidia and there's regular shaders. If you don't have an Nvidia GPU, I do not recommend doing this. Just do regular. The way to check what GPU you have is you can go to task manager and go to performance and go to GPU and see what GPU you have right here. But for those who don't have NVIDIA, I'm gonna show the regular one first. So just type in regular and you're gonna see two different ones. There's Windows 10 only and Windows 11 only. Now, if you're on Windows 11, do the second one. If you have Windows 10, do the first one. So I'm gonna type one and it's gonna show this. You just wanna click on your main monitor and you wanna go to SDR LUT and you wanna click browse and you wanna go to the uh, folder that you installed earlier that you extracted from so just go to it and go to color sets and you're gonna see a bunch of these files right you can just click on it click open and then click apply and you're gonna see there's a difference now on my recording there's nothing there because it doesn't capture it but you could change it to whatever just every time you change it click apply and if you want to remove it just click clear and click apply and it'll take you back to the default and that's pretty much how it works type in nvidia and you're gonna see a whole bunch of options you want to click on install nvidia shaders so one to install it click enter and it is going to open this hit right here now i'm going to walk through on what to do on here right now what you can do is you can actually just click import import profiles and you're going to see import this profile you just go to the folder nvpi and you're going to see this now i don't recommend doing this if you've already made changes on there or like performance or whatever so if you did that just make sure you back this up before doing this and you could do that by just clicking export user defined profiles and export current profile only and you could just create a backup and then right after that you can then just click on import profiles and import this profile or if you want to keep your original settings then you could just scroll down to eight to section eight right here you're going to see others and you're going to see and so flags for enabled applications click on the arrow and click and so allow listed allowed and then click apply changes and then you just want to press any key and install the shaders and then you now have the shaders now downside about this you have to run via the roblox app so you, you just type in three run roblox with nvidia shaders and it's going to launch roblox with the shaders so it's alt f3 to open shaders menu pretty much just want to do alt f3 click on any of these styles just click add filter and you're gonna see a whole bunch of shaders right there and you can even have you know reflections as well i just don't recommend like tweaking it unless you really want to it's gonna drop your fps if you tweak it so i recommend just leaving that default as right, so i can see i got shaders and that is how you get it for nvidia if i do find a way i will make a video on it if it works on like every gpu but um yeah